Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, I've got my scissors and I'm going to be cutting now. So, I know some of you guys like me cutting, so I thought I'd just cut for you guys. So, see how you guys enjoy this cutting. So, anyway, um, let me just tell you some things about my own personal journey in studying Arabic language. So, when I studied Arabic language, I actually, first time ever, I remember when I went to Pakistan to actually study this. And uh, the first time it was actually so strange because in our class, most of us were foreigners and most of us didn't know Arabic. And our languages were quite different. You had like, you know, some guys from China, you had some guys from uh, Ethiopia, you had some guys from... Um, different parts of the world, America, Australia, and when we were basically trying to communicate with each other, we were, tr we were actually sp trying to speak in English, right, so, you know, they were trying to speak English, or, well, we knew English, obviously, um, so, but later on, we kind of got the gist of how to speak Arabic, and we kind of began to understand how to communicate with one another, and that's when we actually started to learn a lot. And I remember there was a guy from Cameroon. His name was Bashir. So this guy was very young when he was uh, brought to Pakistan. His, his his parents had kind of sent him there. And uh, I mean, I personally, I don't think young children should leave home when they're too young. You know, you should leave home after 16 or something. So this guy was like very young. And I think he was deprived of that youth, you know, this family and so he wasn't really interested in studying but the guy he kind of had picked up arabic amazingly because he went to this madrasa in uh, in in pakistan it was in shedadpur so shedadpur any any of you guys know where shedadpur is put in the comments if you guys know where shedadpur is um so he basically oh some cut all right so he went to shedadpur and over there there were lots of foreigners so you actually would learn arabic so you went there to learn hifz of memorization of the Quran. But you on the side you learn Arabic because in the foreigner section everyone's just speaking Arabic. And it was just so amazing that you know you, people were just learning Arabic, conversational Arabic in this place without there being any active sort of Arabic lessons going on. So anyway, this guy Bashir basically, uh, this guy's Arabic was very good for that class. I mean, he was like, very advanced. And he wasn't really interested in studying but one of the lessons he taught me was, uh, he actually said to me, you know, when you're speaking Arabic, the verbs, you're getting them wrong. Because what I would do was the present verbs, like we've just learnt in the surf lessons about the ya, the beginning, and the ta, the beginning, and the a, right? So he said, if you're talking about yourself, you put an a at the beginning. And if you're talking about, you know, a third person, you put a ya. And if you're talking to uh, a second person, you put a ta at the beginning. So he was like, Okay, oh, now I get it. So I began to get the gist of how to, you know, use different types of pronouns. And and, and that was, you know, something really amazing for me. Because that, that's when I really started to understand how to kind of converse with people. Before that, it was just like, just words I knew the meaning of, but I was just like putting them. And I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with it. If you're familiar with that, put your stories in the comments. I'd like to hear your stories as well. And I've told you the story about Bashir um, and uh, yeah unfortunately he didn't continue his studies he just lasted for a year and then he used to get these this eye illness I don't know whatever and then he's left but he wasn't interested in studying anyway he, he was quite young and he got burnt out studying that's what happens to a lot of people you know if you send your kids at a very young age to madrasas a lot of the time the kids get burnt out studying and they're tired of it they want to do something else but the parents really want them to become alims and scholars and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't sometimes it has adverse effects so i would say just you know just be careful of that so anyway thank you very much for watching this and i hope you guys uh, like cutting paper so i've got some nice lots of nice paper over here for you guys and inshallah i will see you guys next time assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh